This is AppChasers.com and today we're taking a look at how to solve a common problem on the iPhone and iPad and that is running out of storage because you have too many photos in your library. You can see here in our settings app under general and usage we've got uh, we can see how many how much data photos are taking up. So on our phone it's only 681 megabytes right now. So that's not very much. But the reason that's not very much is that we've been able to delete our photos after backing them up in the cloud. Now how do we do that? Well it's all made possible through a program called Picture Life. Here it is in the App Store. It's Picture Life app. Uh, it's a great app for backing up all your photographs to their servers so that you can delete photos off your phone and still have access to view them right from your mobile device, whether it's your iPhone or iPad. So we'll show you how to set up uh, Picture Life on your iPhone right now, and we'll show you what it looks like too. So let's move over into our Picture Life uh, app here, and you can see it when we open it up, we're going to see some of our photos that have already been uploading. These are coming straight from our our uh, iPhone as well as our desktop. Now if you go over here in the upper left hand corner into the settings you'll see that we've got uh, some settings down here at the bottom. Now what you're going to want to do is toggle on upload camera roll, upload video, and enhanced background upload. So we'll say enable that. That's going to use our or GPS on the phone, but that's okay. It doesn't take too much uh, battery drain. And uh, we can also enable similar sets here. So now what this is doing is it's going through our camera roll and when it sees new pictures show up in our camera roll on our iPhone, it's going to automatically upload, upload those pictures to Picture Life without us even having to open the app. So it's a great feature that we've got here. Now Picture Life also has some viewing capabilities too. And this is great for being able to find photos that you might have forgotten about, maybe past events from years ago that you just haven't really looked at the pictures recently. Well, the Discover tab here shows us pictures. You'll notice here it says up at the top, interesting photos, events from about one month ago, event from 10 months ago, pictures of beautiful people, so it knows uh, to find picture, pictures of your friends and family, pictures from a year ago, and so forth. So you see it's a great uh, way to discover your photographs within Picture Life. Now you can also go to Memories. Now what this does is it shows you pictures that you took this day years ago. So for example, right here it says in 2009, on this date, March 13th, I took 14 pictures and then I can go through and find those pictures. So it, here it says on this same date, this is March 12th now as we're scrolling up, I took uh, nine pictures in 2010. And then you can also go up here to the right and pick a date that you'd like to view photographs from. Another neat way to see your memories right here on your iPhone. We've also got our timeline which we can go through and scroll through the years of photographs that we have already uploaded to Picture Life. Now you can see I've got photographs all the way back to 1979, which are actually pictures that I've scanned in on my computer. So we'll show you how to uh, upload pictures from your computer as well. You can also create albums, look at all your pictures, send pictures to friends, and share them with a family stream too. So it's really neat how Picture Life lays out all your photos on the iPhone and shows you uh, pictures that you might have forgotten about. Now let's look at how it looks on the iPad. So now we've got Picture Life open on our iPad app and we've got uh, this, of course the menu over here on the left hand side that shows us our, our Discover tab, our Memories tab, Timeline, All Pictures, Albums. We've also got our settings at the bottom and that's where we can upload our camera roll, um, upload videos here right from the app, the iPad app, and we've also got memories that we can look at. We'll see the same ones that we were looking at on the iPhone from five years ago. We've also got our Discover tab where we can go through and discover memories uh, throughout the years. 
we've got our timeline here that we can go through and we've also got our all no, excuse me that was our all pictures we've got our timeline too as well so it's just like using the uh, uh, picture life app on the iPhone but we've got a lot more screen real estate now let's take a look at how to upload your photographs to picture life that you have on your desktop computer okay so now you can see we've got our desktop computer up here our Mac that we've uh, downloaded the picture life app to uh, from picturelife.com and we've got up here in the menu bar you can see our picture life app is running in the background and we've got some different options here let's look at our preferences first of all this is where you'll actually log into your account uh, for picture life so you can go over to the account uh, screen here this will uh, allow us to log in with our picture life account you can go to general and make sure picture life starts when your computer starts up now how will it know exactly what pictures to load into picture life well there's a couple of ways one is to go over here into our folders tab and we can actually add a folder that we want picture life to watch then whatever photographs are thrown into that folder it'll automatically upload those to picture life now this is happening simultaneously with any photos that we have uh, uploading from the iPhone or iPad app so we can pick up uh, a folder here and we've already got the folder chosen here and we click upload movies as well as raw files so we've got both of those checked and we're all set to uh, start picture life watching that folder so now that we've got that all set up here you'll also notice that uh, picture life will start uploading those folders and then it'll give you a time uh, ETA let's say of when those pictures will be completed for uh, loading on the picture life servers you can also drop pictures in manually to picture life let's show you how to do that if we go up here into our menu bar we say upload or choose folders we can actually just drag a photograph or a video right from our desktop into picture life right just by dropping it in right there we can also choose files by clicking here and we can pick a individual photographs that, that we want to upload and we can choose folders to back up right here so that's another great way to throw photos or videos into picture life let's go ahead and say open picture life now this is going to launch our safari browser and it's going to be a very similar experience to what we were looking at on the iphone and ipad we'll show you what that looks like here so again we've got our internet browser loaded up here and we've got on the left hand side our memories timeline all pictures albums that we create uh, right here just like on the ipad app now if we double click on one of these pictures we can see it displayed right here we can go ahead and uh, add it to an album over here on the right hand side we can view this entire event which is a nice way to be able to see all the pictures that are associated with uh, that one photo that we are looking at let's go back in here and click on that photo again we'll show you how we can edit this picture so if we click on edit the picture it's going to bring up some different effects frames stickers that we can add uh, resizing the picture the orientation of the picture we can flip it around and you can do all of this on the iPhone and the iPad app as well so you can see we can apply these different filters and we can hit apply we can save it now it's going to ask us if we want to save this over the existing photo or do we want to create a new photo so we're not going to do that right now but it's neat how picture life allows you to do all these different things with your different uh, photographs that are saved right within picture life so it's a really neat service a great way to back up all your pictures automatically from your iphone or ipad or your desktop computer that way you don't have to keep uh, all your photos on your devices taking up all your storage space again that's picture life and this is appchasers.com Thank you.